Article 46. Merger of separate property into common property. 1. Separate property of a spouse shall be merged into common property according to the agreement between the husband and wife. 2. For property merged into common property whose transactions are required by law to be under a certain form, the merger agreement must ensure that form. 3. Unless otherwise agreed by husband and wife or prescribed by law, obligations related to separate property already merged into common property shall be performed with common property. Article 47. Agreement on Establishment of the Matrimonial Property Regime. For a married couple that selects the agreed property regime, this agreement shall be made in writing before their marriage and be notarized or certified. The agreed matrimonial property regime shall be established on the date of marriage registration. Article 48. Basic Contents of an Agreement on the Matrimonial Property Regime 1. The basic contents of an agreement on the property regime include a slash property determined as common property and separate property of the husband and wife. b slash rights and obligations of the husband and wife toward common property, separate property and related transactions, property to meet the family's essential needs. c slash conditions, procedures and principles of property division upon termination of the property regime. d slash other related contents. 2. For matters arising in the implementation of the agreed property regime which have not been agreed or unclearly agreed by husband and wife, Articles 29, 30, 31 and 32 of this law and corresponding provisions of the statutory property regime shall apply. Article 49. Modification of the Agreement on the Matrimonial Property Regime. 1. Husband and wife have the right to modify their agreement on the property regime. 2. The form of modification of the agreement on the property regime must comply with Article 47 of this law. Article 50. Invalidated Agreement on the Matrimonial Property Regime. 1. An agreement on the matrimonial property regime shall be declared to be invalid by a court when a slash it fails to meet the conditions on effect of transactions prescribed the civil code and other relevant laws. b slash it violates Article 29, 30, 31 or 32 of this law. c slash its contents seriously infringe upon the rights to be supported and inherit and other lawful rights and interests of parents, children and other family members. 2. The Supreme People's Court shall assume the prime responsibility for, and coordinate with the Supreme People's Procuracy and the Ministry of Justice in, Guiding Clause 1 of this article. Chapter 4. Termination of Marriage. Section 1. Divorce. Article 51. The Right to Request Settlement of Divorce. 1. Husband or wife or both has or have the right to request a court to settle their divorce. 2. A parent or another next of kin of a spouse has the right to request a court to settle a divorce when the spouse is unable to perceive and control his, her ex due to a mental disease or another disease and is concurrently a victim of domestic violence caused by his, her spouse which seriously harms his, her life, health or spirit. 3. A husband has no right to request a divorce when his wife is pregnant, gives birth or is nursing an under 12-month child. Article 52. Encouragement of Grassroots Level Conciliation. The state and society shall encourage grassroots level conciliation when a husband or wife requests a divorce. The conciliation must comply with the law on grassroots level conciliation. Article 53. Acceptance of Divorce Petitions 1. A court shall accept divorce petitions in accordance with the civil procedure law. 2. For a couple who has not registered their marriage but requests a divorce, the court shall accept the case and declare non-recognition of their spousal relationship under Clause 1, Article 14 of this law, and shall settle any children or property-related requests according to Articles 15 and 16 of this law. Article 54. Conciliation at Court. After accepting a divorce petition, 
a court shall conduct conciliation in accordance with the civil procedure law. Article 55. Divorce by Mutual Consent. When both spouses request a divorce, a court shall recognize the divorce by mutual consent if seeing that the two are really willing to divorce and have agreed upon the property division, looking after, raising, care for and education of their children on the basis of ensuring the legitimate interests of the wife and children. If the spouses fail to reach agreement or have reached an agreement which fails to ensure the legitimate interests of the wife and children, the court shall settle the divorce. Article 56. Divorce at the Request of One Spouse 1. When a spouse requests a divorce and the conciliation at a court fails, the court shall permit the divorce if it has grounds to believe that a spouse commits domestic violence or seriously infringes upon the rights and obligations of the husband or wife, which seriously deteriorates the marriage and makes their common life no longer impossible and the marriage purposes unachievable. 2. When the spouse of a person who is declared missing by a court requests a divorce, the court shall permit the divorce. 3. For request for a divorce under Clause 2, Article 51 of this law, a court shall permit the divorce if it has grounds to believe that the domestic violence committed by one spouse seriously harms the life, health or spirit of the other. Article 57. Time of termination of marriage and responsibility to send divorce judgments or decisions. 1. The marriage relation shall terminate on the date a court has divorce judgment or decision takes legally effective. 2. The court that has settled a divorce shall send the legally effective divorce judgment or decision to the agency registering such marriage for recording in the civil status register, the divorced partners, and other persons agencies and organizations as prescribed by the Civil Procedure Code and other relevant laws. Article 58. Rights and Obligations of Parents and Children After Divorce The looking after, care for, raising and education of children after divorce must comply with Articles 81, 82, 83 and 84 of this law. Article 59. Principles of Settlement of Property of Husband and Wife Upon Divorce 1. The settlement of property shall be agreed upon by the concerned parties in case of applying the statutory matrimonial property regime. If they fail to reach agreement thereon, at the request of a spouse or both, a court shall settle it according to clauses 2, 3, 4 and 5 of this article and articles 60, 61, 62. 63 and 64 of this law. In case of applying the agreed matrimonial property regime, the settlement of property upon divorce must comply with such agreement. In case the agreement is insufficient or unclear, the settlement must comply with corresponding provisions of clauses 2, 3, 4 and 5 of this article and articles 60, 61, 62, 63 and 64 of this law. 2. Common property shall be divided into two, taking into account the following factors. A slash circumstances of the family, husband and wife. B slash each spouse has contributions to the creation, maintenance and development of common property. The housework done in the family by a spouse shall be regarded as income generating labor. C slash protecting the legitimate interests of each spouse in their production business and career activities to create conditions for them to continue working to generate incomes. D slash each spouse has faults in the infringement of spousal rights and obligations. 3. Common property of husband and wife shall be divided in kind, if impossible to be divided in kind, common property shall be divided based on its value. The partner who receives the property in kind with a value bigger than the portion he or she is entitled to receive shall pay the value difference to the other. 4. Separate property of a spouse shall be under his, her ownership, except for separate property already merged into common property in accordance with this law. A spouse who requests division of separate property which has been merged into or mixed with common property shall be paid for the value of his her property contributed to common property, unless otherwise agreed by husband and wife. 5. 
the lawful rights and interests of the wife, minor children or adult children who have lost their civil act capacity or have no working capacity and no property to support themselves shall be protected. 6. The Supreme People's Court shall assume the prime responsibility for, and coordinate with the Supreme People's Procuracy and the Ministry of Justice in, guiding this article. Article 60. Settlement of property rights and obligations of husband and wife toward a third party upon divorce. 1. Property rights and obligations of husband and wife toward a third party remain effective after a divorce, unless otherwise agreed by husband and wife and that party. 2. When a dispute arises over property rights and obligations, the settlement of such dispute must comply with Articles 27. 37 and 45 of this law and the Civil Code, 